She throw it back, then I fuck it up. Uh, Telling me relax, face down, ass up. She know what to do. Little baby, that was slut. Hey, when she throw it back, then I fuck it up. Uh, Telling me relax, face down, ass up. She know what to do. Little baby, that was slut. Woo! Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yes, sir. We're back. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> Cause I know I missed me. <gasps> hey, no, nah, for real though. New segment, guys. And it's called BYOB. Did he just say bring your own beer? No, guys. This actually stands for be your own boss. You feel me? Be your own boss or build your own brand you feel me this is for a lot of my young people out there no matter what age you are whatever route you're deciding to go when it comes to having your own business make sure it's something that you love to do okay love to do and you don't mind doing it for free you feel me if you're expecting to do what you love and expecting to get paid from that and you don't get paid, you're going to be mad. Yeah, going to be mad as hell. You feel me? Excuse the language. But what you want to do is, all right, first you get a business plan. You get an outline and you write down everything that you want to accomplish from this business from the next three to five years. But... You got to be able to go through the process. And if you don't have any funds to fund your business, then it's going to be a lot harder. Sorry, but it is. <laughs> um, first, you want to get the tools, right? You want to have the funds to, to back it up. So whether that's working at 9 to 5, working at 9 to 5, which I want you guys to really start focusing on. You feel me these days? Because... You can, hustling is cool, don't get me wrong. If you making money from hustling, you're doing your thing, then go ahead and do it. Do it. Oh, do it. It don't matter, you feel me? Because that's what you, that's what you're making your money from, you feel me? Make sure it's legitimate, though. Whatever you're doing has to be legitimate, you feel me? Even if you're not, I'm not going to say nothing. But, you feel me, realistically, 9 to 5 is where it's at. Because you know how much you're getting weekly. You know what you can spend. You know what you can have. You know what I'm saying? What you can save. You want to start your own business. But be your own boss. Because I know you don't want to work for nobody the rest of your life. I know I don't. I don't want to work for the government or the people forever, man. I don't, man. I want my own stuff. You want to um, start your own, you can say, brownie company. Okay. Get some brownies. And start selling them. You feel me? You gonna have to have the funds to sell these brownies, or you can even make them. Go buy the product so you can make them at home. You feel me? If they're good enough, and you can sell them. And guess what? You keep doing that. You get, you know, what I'm saying, as many brownies as you you will need. And if you sell out, you already know how much you can sell on a consistent basis. So what you do is you go buy that amount every time. You keep. You know what I'm saying? Flipping the profit every time. So, I don't know how much brownies cost. You feel me? But, um, I know the box it makes is like a couple of dollars. You feel me? And I guarantee you're going to make at least 24 plus brownies. You can sell the brownies like a dollar, dollar fifty. You know what I'm saying? You're still going to make a good profit from it. But you got to make sure you got the little right tools that you need to make these brownies. You know what I'm saying? And they have to be good. Why you want to sell something that's not good? Huh? 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 Yeah, man. Make sure they're good, bro. You feel me? But, yeah, be your own boss, man. And what I advise you to do is find some investors. 
Find someone that's going to best for you. Like, it can be family or friends. You don't have to, you don't have to go get a loan, which is going to mess up your credit if you don't know how to pay that back. Yeah. You feel me? That's all I'm saying, man. It's already hard enough out here for us. You feel me? For individuals. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the financial stability. You feel me? And now you got your brand. What you want to do. Alright, this is what I'm going to tell you. You a music artist or you a comedian or whatever you want to do. So, I would highly suggest you look at ads. <clears throat> and how to run ads and target people. You know what I'm saying? That's looking in the same area as you. Or that, you know what I'm saying? That loves, you know what I'm saying? Watching things that you do. Like, if you're a comedian, look up. And target people who who look who are looking for comedians. You know what I'm saying? If you're a music artist, okay, well this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run an ad and I'm gonna promote myself all over the world. You feel me? But I'm gonna use this ad to target select a selective group of people that I know listen to my type of music, whether it's trap, R and B, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really how you do it. But you run those ads on every single social media. Okay. Whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on. Create a lot of content as well, man. You want to create content. Every social media platform. Create content. Can I stress this enough? And be consistent at it. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up. Like, if you're making music, you're going to give up making music? Or if you want to be a chef, are you going to stop making stuff? No, you're not. You're going to keep grinding, keep doing it, because that's what you love to do. You feel me? Music artists, I highly suggest you get CDs and go out there and really network with people. You can sell CDs for 5 or $10, depending on the quality of your music and if it's good. But I'm going to tell you this now. You can make the most money by having clean music. You can still talk about whatever you talk about, but clean music is going to sell to a bigger audience, you feel me, versus being a selective group. <clears throat> but if you don't have clean music, you're still going to make a good amount of profit. It don't matter. But it's all within you and what you want to accomplish and what you want to get done. So you better go out there and you better, boy, I'm telling you, you better just, hey, man, I got a CD for you. You feel me? Customers, clientele is important, man. And a good fan base is important. You get that fan base by moving around. You feel me? Operating like that. Networking. You feel me? I didn't, from my personal experience, I didn't sell CDs to over 5,000 people. You know what I'm saying? And probably a little bit more. But it's not hard, man. It's just dedication, the grind, and you. Whatever you, you know what I'm saying? And I love doing it. Like, you know, I can sit here and rap and sing in front of people all day that's what i love to do produce music you know what i'm saying make music that's what i love to do so it's not hard you just got to really have that ambition and motivation you feel me but that is it for this segment so make sure you tune in i see that